Now I know I'm probably probably gonna tick off a few people, but if you'll just give me like 10 minutes to explain myself, I promise you before you start typing like hate comments in the comment section, just like just hold on a little bit, all right? Just just wait. So to me, kayak fishing sucks just a little bit. Let's get our life jacket out. You want to wear yours? Yours. I'll get mine. I just want to... Fishing out of a kayak is always uh, regarded as maybe like an entry level way to get into fishing. Yeah, I'm not really sure that's the way that we need to kind of promote kayak fishing. Here's why. There's so many disadvantages. Bow positioning. Bow positioning is the, it's like it's so underrated how much bow positioning makes you a good angler. That's what sets you up to make a good cast. That's what sets you up to either spook fish or make you stealthy around fishing docks or even when you're fishing deep it's actually more important when you fish deep bow positioning is everything and when i fish out of a kayak all of that is compromised by the fact that i don't have a trolling motor it's compromised by the fact that i'm easily thrashed around by the wind and or waves or current so like i'm not in control you know one thing that makes a good tournament angler or even a good fisherman in general is the ability to adjust to whatever the current conditions are so if the wind starts off out of the north and then it switches out of the east you can move and you can make different decisions so you can catch fish you can do that very easily with a motor powered boat but with a kayak making those on the fly decisions are in, are way more calculated and so i feel like i'm handicapped a little bit every time that i'm out in my kayak there's something else i hate about kayaking is my time when i first started fishing when i was in my 20s i did a lot of fishing right after work i would get up early go to work get my stuff done get to the lake three or four o'clock and I would only have like these three, four hour little sessions, two hour sessions on the lake. Actually where we are today is the lake that I used to come for like an hour and a half, fish two hours in the evening. I put the boat in, all my tackle, all my gears already in the boat. I would go fishing and I would get my little itch, scratch my itch or get my little practice, get my reps in in an hour or two. With kayaking, it's just not that easy to have an hour or two session. You got to load the boat up on the car, on top of the car if you got a car, put it in the truck, then get your gear, get to the lake, then take all your gear out of the truck, assemble it, put it in the water, and then, oh, and then you got to paddle or pedal to wherever you're going. So it takes a lot more time to fish out of a kayak versus putting the boat in, taking off, and going to wherever you're going. It's just a lot more time involvement. With all that being said, I just bought another. So after fishing a little bit with kayaks, I decided that I wanted a pedal kayak. So today I'm here to pick up my pedal kayak at Bucks Island Marina in Alabama. All right, so this is Bucks Island. They have a bunch of kayaks here. If you guys need a kayak, obviously they have a bunch of uh, kayaks in stock. They got everything from Jackson's. These are the Jackson's right here. And they're also a Hobie dealer. So this is basically what I have is a Hobie Mirage Outback. I'm actually coming back from a tournament now. So I got to load my kayak that I just bought on the deck of my bass boat to take it home. That's probably less than ideal, but uh, I was really kind of ready to get my kayak today. I didn't want to wait any longer. I'll see you. Uh, I'll be yeah. back next month. I guess it's basically next month. Yeah. When we come yeah. back. Pretty close. Uh, Fishing out of a kayak is probably the best way to gain some muscle memory. 
the best way to put in some really hard reps. It'll make you appreciate a bass boat 20 times more than what you do if you've never fished out of a kayak. The fact that you're never in control, that it takes much more calculated movements to have a successful day on the water. Like all these things that I've been talking about and complaining about in the first part of this video is what I think makes kayaking freaking awesome. Like I think this is going to be the best way for me to train for my tournaments is the fact that when I go in my kayak, I have to do, I have to put in a little extra, like a little extra, mm, you, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I got to put an extra mm, into actually making the day successful. I have to put more time in on Google Earth researching where I'm actually going to fish. I have to put more time into tackle prep when I go kayak fishing. I have to condense down my tackle because I can't carry 400 pounds of stuff like I do on my bass boat. I have to take more. It has to be more intentional when I go kayaking in my kayak. I have to prepare for an entire day, my lunch, what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to drink. I got to hydrate it and I stay in shape because whether I'm pedaling or paddling, there's a lot more physical involvement in kayaking than there is fishing in a bass boat and it makes it become more of an athletic sport. You know, I've mentioned before that I don't believe us as tournament fishing are athletes. I know that's not a popular opinion, but that's just my opinion. But when you pull out that kayak and you have to lift a 150, 200 pound kayak into your truck. At the end of the day, after you fished all day in 90 degree heat, you're tired, you're ready to go home. You don't get to just stick it on the trailer, turn the key and take off. You gotta unload all of that stuff out of your kayak. You gotta put it all back in the truck so it doesn't fly out and make sure it's all secured. And then you get to go back home. It's not as easy. And that's what I'm actually looking for. And I love about kayaking is the fact that it's not easy. You got to put in extra effort, extra everything. I think it's the perfect training ground for me. Maybe not every professional fisherman, but I think this is something that I need to put a little bit more time in when I'm not fishing tournaments. Because the extra effort that you have to put in is going to make fishing out of a boat or showing up to a new body of water it's going to make that seem easy now because when you've put in all the effort that it takes to put in to make a successful day of kayak fishing you appreciate being able to move really easily being able not to have to plan out every single detail of your day of fishing i think it'll be a lot easier so i'm going to consider kayak fishing my training grounds for fishing on the big stage from now on. I've been kayaking for about five or six years now is when I bought my first kayak and I started out with the paddle drive. Just put your rod down. I do all the fish catch in the day. You just you just put your uh oh, uh oh, dude, where's he going? Dude, that's a good one. Whoa, dude, that's a good one. That's the kind of like what I catch. Yes, yes. And I do like the paddle drive for certain little things. Number one, if you're looking with the things that I just mentioned here, if you're looking to get like more of a workout and it becomes more of a training thing for you probably the paddle kayak is maybe best for you but it is convenient to paddle a little bit put the paddle down pick up your rod oh then i need to adjust and like all those little inconvenient things as a as a bass fisherman uh like you don't appreciate using a foot control trolling motor enough until you fished out of a paddle kayak so I am keeping my paddle kayaks because a lot of times I like to drag my boats through the woods to get to wherever I'm going. But there will be more situations where, say if I want to go saltwater fishing, um, I'll use my pedal kayak because the current 
it's just not even reasonable to think that you're gonna micro adjust your boat with a paddle kayak in the current and tidal situation. So I went with the Hobie Outback for my, uh, this will be my boat to fish like in salt water because it's a pedal drive. So I can do things that I need to do a lot more efficiently out of this one. So when I want to work my arms out, I'll go with the, the what do I have? The Bonafide Paddle Kayak. And when I want to work my legs on leg days, it'll be in the Hobie Outback. See, I told you to wait until the end of the video because I know when I said kayak fishing sucks, it sounded like I was being the arrogant little prick that said that we need to get rid of all kayaks because it's stupid to kayak. I'm not gonna say I haven't been a part of that crowd before, but I will say this. Guys, kayaking is like the hardest way to start out fishing. I have a lot of respect for people that only kayak fish. There are a lot of anglers out there now. It's like a whole separate culture to just kayak. And dude, that's a different level of dedication that I see in the kayak crowd. I can't wait for next off season to spend more time in my kayak because I see the benefits and I see the thought process that it takes to have a successful day of kayak fishing and I want to become better at that, better at planning. Um, I want to appreciate, I think the, the muscle that you will create from fishing out of a kayak and not always being in the perfect position to make a cast or not always being in the perfect position with the wind blowing, I think it'll make me a lot more appreciative of my bass rig and probably make me a better fisherman. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Whoa. Oh no. Much bigger. <laughs> Much bigger than three. <laughs> Much bigger than three. Yes! Dude, look how fat that thing is. Bro. <laughs> that was a good one. Alright, let me hold on.